Hello and welcome to the five best targets to image in April. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it. Welcome to April's five targets for the month. Um, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our three beginner targets. The first one is gonna be M104, which is the Sombrero Galaxy. I love the Sombrero Galaxy, and much like another one we're gonna talk about in the advanced category, um, it's seen edge on, which is super duper cool. I like galaxies like that. I think maybe they're not as like beautiful and gorgeous as like you know seeing spiral arms and all that stuff, but I just think it's gorgeous to see those things like galaxies edge on and I, I think it's it's a pretty good beginner target it's not that hard to get and I think it's just a little tricky because maybe you're looking at it and expecting to see a typical galaxy but this one is edge on and if you watch episode 6 of Galactic Hunter you can see us capturing this galaxy with our DSLR camera I wish we still had our sombrero hats we had uh, we don't but um this they galaxy blew away in the wind yeah this galaxy is very, very, uh, it has a, one of the brightest cores ever because uh, it has a huge black hole and so the core is so bright that's why it kind of makes it tricky to process sometimes but overall it's a pretty easy galaxy. And then my favorite one for this month is going to be M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy which is one of the most famous galaxies because it's, uh, it's eating up another galaxy. So you can see um, pretty much two galaxies but one main large one eating up eating up i guess you could say eating up it's like it's eating it's basically it's devouring. like yes it's devouring another galaxy you can see that like <clears throat> that gravitational pull from the the whirlpool galaxy it's so interesting and it's, it's very bright and very it's one of the largest galaxies visible from earth i mean so with any size telescope you can pretty much capture it really well um, and I think even with a DSLR camera and a telephoto lens, it's tiny but you can still see it. So, so if you don't have a telescope yet, you can just uh, try to capture it with just a DSLR camera. It's just very, very small. And then for uh, the third one, what do we have? We have Markarian's chain. Oh, yes. This one is a bunch of galaxies. It's actually it's like part a of the. Yeah, I think it's part of the Virgo supercluster of galaxies. And uh, this one is just tricky to, to frame because there's just so many there's of them. There's just so many, like it's it's really crazy. Like it really is just like a string of galaxies. But yes, framing is going to be, be part of the um, difficult parts of this beginner target. But it is, you can accomplish it. It's just the framing is what matters. So for the two advanced targets in April, like I was saying before, I like edge on galaxies. The needle galaxy is another one of those, which is our advanced target. It is beautiful super and fantastic. Thin. It's super duper thin. It's so like, and it has a very, very bright core. I like it a lot. I think uh, probably making sure you get all of those gases because again, it is seen at John and I feel like there's like some... Like the arms are, are kind of tricky because yeah. it's just so thin. So um. that would be probably one of the trickier ones of the advance, right? Yeah, it's, it's tricky. It's part of the tricky ones. It's small, it's faint, and there's a bright bulb on the core and tiny arms, so it's kind of tricky. Yeah. And then the second one for advanced uh, astrophotographers photographers is going to be... Let me think. It's going to be... Oh, the Whale Galaxy. So the Whale Galaxy is, once again, very thin from our point of view. I think it's also viewed edge on. And it has a very, very strange shape. Yes. And there's also a, an orbiting dwarf galaxy, or uh, even two, I think, um, around it. So it's, it's a bit difficult to, to capture um, well. But um, yeah, I think it would be about the same difficulty as the uh, needle galaxy. Those two are very thin, pretty faint, and kind of tricky. But totally worth it. Yes, worth it. So yeah, that was it for April. Uh, I think next month we're gonna finally see some great nebulae. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And um, if you, once again, if you want to see our guides, we have them online or in our book right here for all the best targets for, for the entire year. 
So we'll see you guys next time and kiss guys. Bye.